Hello. Um, so I'm going to talk about adding groove to your drum beats that you're making um, within Bitwig, um, but not specifically Bitwig. You can do this in, in anything pretty much, but um, that's the primary thing I want to talk about. Um, there is within Bitwig a groove function that you can enable, and um, it allows you to shuffle the beat up a bit. I think personally you get better results if you do it manually um, because you can use, you know, modulators and stuff like that as well as moving things around by hand. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to show you an example of what I mean here. So uh, this is just a basic beat that I put together. So just some guitar, bass and drums. And if you stick around until the end, I'm going to add a bonus where you can hear a rap, a freestyle rap that I did over this, which is very exciting. Um, it's about cereal. So um, let's listen to the drums by themselves. So this is kind of an introduction to stuff that you can do to add more life to your drums. Um, I'll probably go more in depth with stuff. This is there's not many elements going on here. Um, I'm not doing a lot of I'm not using a, a lot of different modulators and I'm not using a lot of different um, things to affect the sound. I'm really just using velocity and I'm using a couple of modulators that are being triggered by that. But the first thing I want to talk about is is just the note placement. So. Um, this might be obvious to some people, but I do see a lot of people just kind of putting things on the grid, um, which is fine. But if you want it to have more of a feel to it, you really do need to be moving the notes around. So as you can see here, I'm employing this with a lot of stuff. Um, so the hats here, as you can see this one, the first one is on beat. The second one is slightly late. Third one is slightly late. And then the fourth one is slightly early. And then also, if you notice down here at the bottom, I'm playing with the velocity. So this one is the lowest velocity. This one's slightly higher. So I'm emphasizing this note. And you can emphasize whichever note you want, what, that you want. Um, when I go more in depth, probably later, I'll talk about how you would do this differently over time. Because you could emphasize different, you could em emphasize different notes in each section or, or each beat, um, which would give you maybe you could kind of create polyrhythms and stuff with that but for now i'm just i'm just basically it's these same four notes over and over again and it's that's the the note that i'm emphasizing the whole way through so that's the first thing again pretty obvious but it makes a big difference so if we listen to this and then i'll show you one that's mechanically programmed that's like yeah i haven't done this too okay and then here it is just kind of with the bare bones just uh program straight in so it's not as fun um, and all you do to just in case you don't know all you do to to move the notes around is you can um, hold shift and that'll let you incrementally change where the note is so you can make it as early as late as you want you don't want to go too far it's gonna sound out of time like if you do something like that and then say make this one like really really early as well and then let's make this one pretty late so let's just see what that sounds like so there we go i've copy and pasted that so let's see what it sounds like okay so you know it sounds kind of cool um this really isn't something that you could achieve with the groove system so you know you can you can play around with it and see how you like it anyway we're gonna leave that behind for now and then I'm going to talk about some of the other elements that are in the beat. So um, if we play this again, the other thing that I'm using here is this. So this um, this is like a higher pitch snare and it comes in just before the regular, the regular snare that I've got here. So I've got a snare here. Uh, sorry, a clap and a snare here. And then this is coming in slightly before sometimes and then on beat sometimes, and it just changes it up. And then I'm adding those in as kind of ghost notes. Um, 
in specific intervals here. I'm also playing with the velocity and I'm using that to modulate certain stuff as well. So um, as the velocity gets lower on this, basically the envelope for the volume shortens as well, which makes it sound kind of more like a snare, a ghost and audit snare. So I'll just play that again so you can hear what I mean. So then the other thing is, I've got this, um, so this is a shaker sample, and I find that it's always good to add something like this. So this is a regular shaker sample that was like this, and I slightly reversed it. Slightly reverse, how do you slightly reverse something? <laughs> I fully reversed it, um, so that it's not like a reverse. That's what reversing it would do, yeah. Um, and the reason that I did that is because now that this is like slightly out of time and it's kind of in a more unpredictable way. So it's always good to have things in there that are kind of in a weird place because um, that kind of adds to the groove of it. So, so yeah, basically what that's doing is it's pushing into the first beat sometimes. It's basically giving you some momentum into the next section. So here you can see it gives you some momentum into the second part. So that's what I kind of always think about when I'm programming drums is how can I create sort of momentum towards the next beat in a way that's predictable but not so predictable. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I'll show you some of the modulation I'm doing. I don't think I'm doing much, to be honest. So I'll have a look here. I think the only thing that I'm actually modulating is, um, oh yeah, this is in a later section as well. Uh, so there's this snare. And all I'm doing with this is to create the idea of a ghost note. I'm basically, I've got an envelope here and I'm shortening the envelope when the velocity is lower. So the lower that it's getting hit, the shorter the the decay time is, which is making the note slightly shorter, so it's sounding like a ghost note. So. so you can hear it's kind of more dynamic than if you were just to keep it the same all the time. So there's one more thing. Um, there's like a breakdown section over here somewhere. I think it's over here. Um, yeah, so it's over here. Uh, I'll just let, let you have a listen to this. So just to change it up sometimes, if you're doing a breakdown, you've got more room. Um, you don't want to overcomplicate things. So in this section, in the actual beat itself, I go to just the drums. <laughs> And when you remove elements, you kind of have more room to get a bit fancier. So basically all I'm doing is um, I'm just modulating the pitch of this up and down over time. Again, probably obvious thing to do to some people, but if you don't know, you don't know what's up. So yeah, um, that is basically all I have to say about that for now. Um, I will probably do one in the future um, when I get m more used to doing these and I'm easier to follow. Um, I'll probably do more advanced one where we will look at using things like pressure gain, even panning and timber and stuff to modulate different things um, and control things by pitch to make things more interesting. Uh, maybe use some things like round robin and stuff like that um, to get more interesting results. But for now, I think that's a good kind of introduction to getting more groove into your, into your beats. Um, as I promised, I did do a um, really bad freestyle rap about cereal over this. Um, so I will now let you hear that. And thanks for watching. If you thought this was useful, please subscribe. And um, leave a like and enjoy the song. Y'all better believe I won't lose control. Explicit content, by the way. Stay the fuck away from my cereal bowl. Y'all better believe I won't lose control. Stay the fuck away from my cereal bowl. Yo, 
You better not touch it. Y'all better believe. Y'all better believe. I ain't gonna let you touch it. Stay the fuck away. Stay away from my cereal bowl. You ain't touching my cereal. Y'all better believe. You got the power to lose control. Stay the fuck away. Stay the fuck away from my cereal bowl. When I wake up in the morning, know I gotta have it Cornflakes, popcorn, know I gotta grab it I'll be getting my spoon, I'll be making my room in my stomach So that I can eat the shit out of it huh. I ain't fucking around, man, the serious shit I'll be eating all that serious shit I ain't fucking around, this is the serious time I'm not gonna fuck you, but I'm running around <laughs> Y'all better believe Y'all better believe Stay the fuck away Stay away from my serious 